being able to analyze beams, columns, trusses and other structural elements without too much calculations and complex maths is a key skill that every structural and civil engineer should have. Ability to interpret analysis, structural analysis is very important. You should be able to tell how the structure is going to behave. In this tutorial, I will carry out qualitative analysis of a continuous beam with two fixed supports and one roller support in the middle and with uniformly distributed load. This is part of iStructy certificate in structural behavior or if you are simply interested in structural engineering and you want to improve your basics, this tutorial is for you. This is the example which I want to solve today. It's got two fixed supports at the end and one prop or a roller in the middle. And there are four options to choose from. Can you find out quickly what's the bending moment with simple calculations? I want to give you a hint here. Consider this beam as two beams consisting of fixed supports and with uniformly distributed load applied. And guess what you will get? You will get end moments and you will get a sagging moment uh, as well. And there are quick formula for that. Use these formula to work out the moments and that will give you the maximum bending moment in the span. I strongly suggest that you try this question first before watching this tutorial. Scan this barcode or go to this URL. It will be down in description as well to try this question first and see what option do you get and post your answer in the comments down below and then see the solution. Additionally, I will also be solving this structure in a computer software so that I am confident that whatever qualitative analysis skills we are applying, they are valid. So for validation, I will use S-Frame to carry out structural analysis and that can plot shear force bending moment and it can give you reactions as well. For this particular question, when loading is symmetric, we can treat the intermediate support as a fixed support and say that it will resemble the fixed end moment. So what is the formula for fixed end moment? So when we have a beam with fixed ends, it will have a bending moment like this. Load is W and this is L. So fixed end moment, moment at end, that will be hogging moment. The formula is WL square over 12 and maximum moment in the middle, center moment. The formula is WL square over 24. So if we apply this logic, we say that it is going to bend like this. So it will have hogging and it will have a sagging moment as well. So the formula for this is M is equal to, this is towards end, WL square over 12, W is 10. And if I treat it as a single span, if I say that this is a fixed thing, but this will only work if we have same loading in both span and loading is symmetric otherwise the points of contraflexion where bending moment is zero it will change so 10 times 4 square divided by 12 this will be a negative one 13.33 kilonewton meter and this is in hogging how about if i want a sagging moment at the center that sagging moment will be equal to m at the center will be equal to w l square over 24 10 into 4 square divided by 24 that will be half of 13.33 so that will be 6.66 and this will be sagging 
So the maximum bending moment will be equal to 13.33 in hogging and option A is the correct option. Now tell me, did you get it right? Don't worry if you didn't. You can always watch back this tutorial to improve on knowledge and to improve your basic structural engineering skills. I can use S-Frame to solve this problem. Let us say continuous beam. Next, keep everything as default. Next, next, next. And I want to start from scratch and click on finished. The first thing you want to do is to define the grids. So click on edit grids and click on base grids. Here it will define grids at one meter distance so click ok grids have been defined i will just zoom it in and i will start with geometry first so click on geometry and click on member definition tool and here two joints and i will pick a joint over here and then count up to four three four and then again click here and count four the geometry has been defined the next thing I want to define the supports. So here, TX, TY means translation in X and Y, and RZ means rotation in Z. So I want to fix left side, I want to fix right side. And in middle, I have a roller support. So TY means translation in vertical direction is prevented. So click here it has been defined then i will define the section properties click on section properties and define a new section i will go to steel and i will define any i will choose any ukb that is a beam section click ok and click update and close this section now has been assigned to the members next i will define the loads in loads i will go to uniformly distributed load so click on global load load type is full load and y global y axis direction and w1 is equal to negative 10 because 10 kN per meter was defined so click here and click here once it's done the load has been defined now it is ready for analysis so go to run analysis linear static click ok and it will ask you to save the file i will say q21 save it with any file a clean solution and i will directly go to the graphical and here i want to see the axial shear and i want to see moment diagram so click on moment diagram now the thing which i'm interested in is over here if i double click on this it will show me the maximum value you can see it is 13.33 at this point and 13.33 that is maximum hogging moment and sagging moment is similar to what we got which was 6.667 if you click on other span as well it will show you the same values so here 13.33 and 6.67 that is how we analyze the structure not only manually but we can use computer software to verify our outputs if you like this video I have more videos related to basic structural engineering where I solve different structures and the playlist is here. Scan this barcode or uh, go to this URL to see more videos and share it with your friends and like the video if you think that it benefited you. You can download the lecture slides so you don't have to do anything. Just go to this URL or scan this a barcode to download the slides and work on the examples as you go on you will have the pdf files uploaded there and link is down in description as well